hi everyone and uh, welcome back so in this video we are going to take a look on to next js application i mean i, I was writing next JS application earlier also but there are a couple of changes has been done recently so we will just go through those changes uh, and we'll try to understand because it's not a big change sometimes what they do is they just release the proper documentation to understand it okay earlier we were defining the routes through the pages folder and inside that if we create about.tsx uh, index.tsx login.tsx that becomes the route now let me zoom this little bit i think this is enough okay now uh, i'm looking into the documentation of uh, the latest changes which are in the beta version but that will be out soon and i need to migrate your migrate my apps so i'm just using the beta version so you can see dashboard settings let's say my route is dashboard settings what i will do is i have to create the same set of folder structure dashboard settings this is same we were doing in the pages folder also now inside that i will just create the pages so when you click on forward slash dashboard it will render the pages page.js if you click on dashboard settings then it will first go to dashboard then settings then pages if you click on forward slash it will go for the page.js inside app folder now coming back to our structure inside app there is a page.tsx let's say if i'm creating a login i will create a login folder and inside that i can create a login.tsx and let's say i will just change this name to login I will just replace a couple of things. This has become the login page. Okay. Now, if you want to just create another folder, is like let's say register, and you will create a register.tsx. right further inside a login like reset password forget password so you will do is reset password and you will create its own page.tsx sorry it should be page.tsx you don't need to put the file name as a route name because you already route name is coming from the folder name here also you will do is page dot tsx okay i mean you can build the ui you can build the small small components you can create the layouts also because uh, i mean these concepts are kind of similar if we talk about swell kit and next they they there also if we follow the folder based routing strategy i mean you create a folders that be indirectly becomes the routes and you define the layouts layouts are like you you can inherit the layouts from the different layouts like auth layout app layout dashboard layouts you can create the the layout and if you don't want it to affect the route path then you can organize something like this so inside app if you don't want to make the marketing as a part of url you put the marketing in the brackets so when you click on about it will render about page.gsx similarly the blog similarly the account right so you just put that inside the brackets and it will do the job okay and even though browse inside uh, share the url history you can create a different layout that's the important part because now you will see only two type of files page.js page.tsx layout.tsx important let's say here my for this particular route my layout is different so i have a layout.tsx on the app directory on the dashboard i have a different layout so i will put the layout.tsx here for the setting space i have a different layout i will put layout.tsx otherwise it will inherit the layout okay that's also important uh you can just look at this here we are just saying layout.js uh, so the account page will use this particular layout okay same as the cart and here we can just check the checkouts okay creating multiple root layouts okay uh, here this is a kind of a similar thing here 
whatever is going inside a marketing is going to follow this particular layout file whatever is going inside a shop will follow this particular layout file dynamic segments you can actually uh, we remember that we used to pass the dynamic params we, we will always not have a static route right so like let's say our routes are like this app blog slug page dot js so if there if there is a dynamic route we will just create uh, something like this id slug or whatever let's say i have this is the blog inside that i will create a folder with slug inside that i can create page.tsx so inside blog okay this is created inside the blog i think okay it's inside a there is a blog then there is a slug and then there is a page.tsx okay I mean if you want you can also use a spread operator to catch all the uh, segments if you are passing slug a then this will be captured here if you are passing that as an array a b c whatever that is also be, will be captured here okay these these concepts are still similar whatever we were doing earlier there is no change you can see how this is how we will capture the params we being passed here like app log slug page.tsx so slowly we will go through all these things this is just a simple example how we are creating our pages so this page.js files which is made inside the app will be rendered on the forward slash the dashboard when you hit on the dashboard it will render this page.js or tsx file which is inside a dashboard okay so the extension can be .js .jsx .tsx we are using typescript so the extension will be .tsx so a page.tsx or .js or .gsx will be required to render the component from the, the component. Okay. And if you want to define some layout, always create a layout.tsx, layout.js, something like this. Okay. I can create a dashboard layout. Right. Uh, let's say we will start doing something like this. Let me delete, uh, clean up a few things. Reset password we don't need. I have a login and i have a register i will copy first of all let me create a layout so here we are using layout this is the root layout all the components which are defined inside a forward slash will use this for the login i wanted to use something else so i will use layout dot tsx now my app will start using this layout here it is using navbar inside new we can define something like header component footer component and then the children okay this is page.tsx you don't need to include this layout inside a page.tsx it will start using it okay now all the things is this is a root layout is inherited in from the page.js from the app directory if you want to create a layout then put that inside your respective folders root layout uh, this root layout is defined at the app level app layout dot tsx you already know so this is required right the app directory must include a root layout which contains the html body and body should render all the children's which are coming inside it you can also create a nesting of the layouts like inside a dashboard i created a layout dot js it's like a different layout i wanted to create i created a layout dot tsx okay Mm, we will we will keep talking about it this is just a basic introduction similarly i also want to talk about svelte kit let me first uh, run this if everything is good npm run build okay we are not good here i'm not using page module.css or anything like this here even not even the image this is my home component layout is fine inside register okay we don't have anything so i will just put something okay. 
and let's build the pages again okay that's good uh, and i can run this particular app this is uber eats npm run dev i think it's already running somewhere so now it's all about changing the route login right it's using this particular layout and then login page similarly register right register page because uh, the register is using the root layout this is using the app layout the the forward slash is using app layout the register is still inheriting that login has its own layout okay so we will we will see how we can inject the, uh, the dynamic data using get server side and server side props and all these different different methods are there but for now we are good let's uh, it's like a bootstrap and we learned something now if we talk about swell kit app there we need to learn couple of things uh, because this is also has done some recent changes first of all the routing routing is defined something like this because uh, next js and swelt kit both are what what are these these are server side rendered framework both are running on top of uh, node.js like if you remember node.js earlier used to use this uh, handlebar templates and all to render the the html pages from the server so on same technology or source same concept these ssr frameworks have been designed which are doing server side rendering okay so we have restaurant uh, where is that uber it's admin this is using swell kit let me close all the folders swell kit so you can see this is using typescript and all here this is the default route when you do npm run dev here Uber its admin it will start your swell kit app but what are the important things here uh, we will also introduce a, a tailwind because that is important to build the ui and will this is a wit config uh, this uh, swell kit is using wit to build and bundle things all right this is using wit earlier there used to be a roll up a, which is same as the webpack but now it is using wit this is swell config uh, wit is using swell config it is initializing the the swell kit and it is using the default adapter but when we deploy this to the netlify to the aws lambda or to another server we can change this adapter there we need because this is how this uh, swell kit app is deployed it's not a static uh, build which you just put to s3 cloud front and you just start seeing things because it's all dynamic it's it needs a node.js running server to deploy the application so in as source there is a route and there is a page.swelt so similarly uh, in the next years we were having page.tsx here if you want to create a page then it will be page.swelt so by default when you hit forward slash it will render the page.swelt now you can create a folder like this login right now if you want to put something the component so what you will do is plus page dot swelt and for now i will put same stuff here this is login okay and it will compile and it will launch it first of all let's see a little bit of documentation i will already be covering this in a separate sessions what are the changes but this is how it is like let's say you wanted to create about route so you will just create a about folder in the routes and you will put plus page dot swell right and for writing the swell kit app same as the next js yes, we need react experience for the swell kit app you should know how swell js works because it's a simple and it's a compiler uh, framework which is being getting compiled no, it's it's a little different than what we see with the react and angular but it's very easy and you will really like it if you try to learn if there is already a playlist on the swelt swelt uh, js swelt kit is just only a server side uh, version of it using the swelt js 
so here what we are doing in the page load js it's just the same uh, blog now now if i want to build something dynamic right what i will do is i will just create a blog let's say here inside this routes i wanted to create something dynamic blog okay rename it to blog and i will just create another folder uh, slug and inside slug we can create this page dot swelt now the where the data is coming from and all because data has to be passed from some 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 particular action right so and there are two things page dot swelt and page dot ts page dot ts will become an api or a particular file using which you can fetch the data okay uh, either you depend on some external service which will feed you the data or you can write page.js okay then you will see three different type of files in swelt kit page.swelt plus page.js plus page.server.js okay Let, let's talk about all those things so that yeah you see the page.server.js it is some file where you wanted to fetch the data server side rendering because here page.server.js means this data will be fetched from the server right if you define a load function that only runs on the server and here if you see this page.js this page loads some data before it can be rendered so there is a big difference here now page.js is something which you need to see you need to fetch the data before even the page gets rendered okay and this data is something which is coming when the after when the page is getting rendered you will feed the data to the component and it runs on the server means your page is rendered page, page is rendering and this data will be fed to that particular page it's like server side function okay so you you will see these extension plus page.js a default page page.server.js and plus uh, page.svelte from this you can export the actions and a lot of things can happen with this okay we, we can also define the layouts using plus page dot uh, layout plus page dot swelt similarly i think there is a plus layout dot swelt so everything is kind of a similar to the next yes now there is additional syntax plus we are adding slot is same as rendering the children okay we, we will talk about this uh, more this is how we are defining the layouts for settings you just create a plus layout dot swelt and whatever the data you are getting you will just use this layout this is this will be this trend this will be rendered for all the components inside a settings and the children will be rendered inside a slot you can define the different uh, layouts for the different folders you just put a layout.js like there is a layout.server.js is also something like this where you wanted to define the layouts at the server side i think yes i saw somewhere layout server.js if you wanted to move your load function i mean these all these things are there i mean when you are rendering a page there are two options either because it's a server side but it's not forcing you to load everything through the server you can also define few things where your data can be fetched from the client side i mean while you are rendering the component before that data is available like in the next just also we have a get static props get server side props there are two different functions get static props means the data will be fed directly and then it will generate html which will be sent back to the client so client won't make any additional request to fetch the data get server side props means the server that data will be fetched from the server and then it will calculate the the template at the client side okay so these different extensions you will see the routing is kind of similar src route then you create a folder and then plus page dot swelt plus page dot server dot uh, js plus page dot js right plus page dot swelt this is for the swelt component plus page dot js there you can define the load function using which you can actually get the data okay let's say what it, what it is doing let's try to run this simple uh, this is inside a blog slug page.js blog slug it will in the finder and here i'm creating a new file 
it's i think i'm creating inside this plus page dot js i think for me it will be ts uh yes oh no let's put it as any okay so this is a slug params where it is defined okay inside slug it is blog slug page dot ts okay this is a load function this will feed the data based on the slug it will check okay slug is slug is hello world inside parents then it will return this and this data you can consume in page dot svelte dot js uh, where the page dot svelte yes here it is plus page dot svelte plus page dot svelte dot tsx okay page dot svelte why am we putting svelte dot tsx script i think i need to set type here tsx i'm not sure about it i need to check maybe it will throw me a warning and then we will see because uh, we are writing typescript not the uh, simple javascript to blank ts i think this should work okay let's see this okay now i will do is first we can do build i mean instead of building all the projects i can build that particular one also and this page.js when when you are typing the slug hello world it will return this data and this data will be available to the page.svelte at the client side i mean before even rendering the template this html will be ready with the data so we can go to the packages cd over its admin now it will be giving me this so i have a blog inside the blog i will type hello world so this is blog and there is a slug hello and welcome to our blog is it the the one i missed the title which is being title okay title hello world is coming right this is the hello world i mean we are not putting anything dynamic this is the data we are passing this data is being fed to this particular svelte component and this is all client side why i'm saying is when you inspect it this the whole html is coming up from the server only because there is no we are not using plus page dot server dot js where the load function runs on the server and it feds the data from the server side okay i'm doing a lot of switching sorry for that and let's talk, talk about swell kit again so you can also create plus page dot server dot js if your load function can only run on server for example it needs to fetch the data from database from some api or it needs to calculate or process the data at the runtime then you can use this function load function and this load function will return you the data at the runtime when you are when uh, you are hitting that request that time it will fetch this data from the database and then it will make the available so it will compile and calculate the html template at the client side okay that is the the major difference between how we are doing the rendering sometimes it, it defines how we want to make our component if you just wanted to fetch the data before even your component gets rendered on the browser you can use the step plus page.js okay this is you can say the some kind of a client side rendering mechanism it enforces and that is enforcing server side so loading data uh, page data you can load through the plus page.js or plus page.server.js form actions page actions we will talk about when we go into the deep and the adapters like what all different adapters we have uh, adapters for virtual netlify node cloudflare uh, and all these different things okay so that is just a bootstrap and i don't need to talk about the react application which is there in the restaurant dashboard because everybody knows how react works so i'm not talking about it so in the next video what i will do is 
now it's all about baselining understanding and all let's try to bootstrap uh, our next js applications with the with the what is swelt js okay sorry next js application with the with the ui framework tailwind css sometimes i forget tailwind css and we will start writing components 